Okay, so today's episode, we are going on a road trip from New Jersey to Miami, Florida. And we're going to be taking the Tesla Model 3 on our first real road trip. So, that is Prometheus. I am Hervé. That is Anna. And it's coming up. And you guys are coming with us. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products like the Tesla Model 3. Now we're going on a road trip from New Jersey to Miami, Florida, and we're going to be stopping at superchargers all along the way. So you're coming with us. Let's go check it out. Let me introduce you to my wife, Anna. See that pretty lady right there? That is Anna. And she's gonna be the choreographer. So if the music's not so good, it's her fault. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here's the funny part. We got about <laughs> two, less than half a mile. And we already got in our first argument. Now, here's the thing, we're going to Miami, but we're going to different destinations. So our first destination is Charlotte, I guess Maryland or Charlotte around there. And our car is currently at 289 miles. We have the long range mile uh, vehicle, so why not charge to 310 miles? So if we charged at 289 and we left, we would have 5% battery charge. Not smart at all. So just in the last four minutes of supercharging, we would have 15% left when we go. A little better, not great, but a little better. So we're gonna charge the top off to the top. We got half a mile and got in an argument. Now, I'm trying to get my wife into the different mind of thinking. It's in, we go from an ice car to a car that's run on batteries. So she's having a little range anxiety, but she's not grasping the concept of pulling up. We're going on a long trip with our long range Tesla Mod 3, all wheel drive by the way. Fill up to the top, we go down. Now going, of course, we're gonna generate some power with the regen, so it's gonna be interesting. But half a mile, or oh, we got an argument. Catch you guys in the next one. We're gonna grab right now some uh, wholesome American breakfast, uh, Shea McDonald, and I'll keep you guys confirmed and informed. Now, I'm gonna throw some links in the description. Um, here's my referral link, so if you're in, in the market for a Model 3, a Model S, or a Model X, I'm gonna put my thing right over here so that you can get $100 off on supercharging. I will catch you guys in the next one. This is gonna be an interesting trip. So, it's gonna be, the fixer is gonna be convincing my wife to change her perception of battery cars. We can do it. Prometheus, we're gonna do it. Kit. See you in a minute. About an hour, and I guess usually when I drive, I'm a speed demon. But having somebody else drive for you, I really don't care about the speed. Now this is a great car, but I get to relax a little bit. Um, Miami is going to be like a 20 hour drive. But what I'm finding out is it's not about how fast you go, it's about how efficient you can be. So if you take a look, we're at 246 miles right now. And if you look at this number right here, that right there, when we started, we were at 5%. So the longer the car is running, the more efficient it's being. And that number is actually climbing, which means we're doing a great job. Autopilot is awesome. If you guys are not using Autopilot or if you're getting a Tesla without Autopilot, you're making a mistake. It is awesome. All right, I gotta go potty. I'll be back. Anna is being Anna. See that right there? You see the smirk? Yeah. She's actually telling me how to drive while she has her eye thing. It's kind of funny. Look, love you. <laughs> you didn't, she didn't even know if she aimed at me right now to give me a kiss. All right, back in a sec. 
Okay, so we've been driving for a minute. Now, we are uh, just a little past Baltimore, and we went to a bio break in one of the coolest places you want to go. We went to the Orioles uh, baseball stadium. Really is the Baltimore Park Camden Yards. This is awesome. Not bad for a bathroom break. Not bad. All right, back on the road. We're about, uh, I don't know, four hours in. We have 100 miles of range left. Uh, my wife is telling me what to do while she's sleeping. Definition of back. Really cool people. Thank you guys for letting us use the bathroom. Now, we currently have 87 miles of fuel left. About that right there to make so if we coast the way we are if a speed racer here would I'm slow I'm driving slow uh-huh six under speed limit mm -hmm. if we but a couple of things to know car is really comfortable um, autopilot is awesome like for myself I'm a speed demon but when you have a vehicle that drives for you you'll calm down a little bit now another note the autopilot is not 100% perfect sometimes when cars go by um, the car will suddenly slow down at a rapid rate of speed and I just got to make sure that you look behind you to make sure nobody's behind you and once I had to take over but it's really really good it's only gonna get better from here um, and we are passing Jessup Columbia shout out to my Colombian folks out there and I'll check in she just laughed at me you have no idea where you are Catch up in a minute. Okay, so we are in the Springfield Mall. We have 42 miles left. It was kind of close, but it got us there. And can I charge it? Yes, baby, you can charge it. And we are feeding Prometheus nice, healthy electrons. We get to stretch out a little bit. Get some food, relax. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, look at that. So we get to play for an hour and our battery is gonna be fully charged. So for you guys that have range anxiety, um, as long as you go through and you don't worry about, uh, don't speed, don't turn everything on, and from New Jersey to the Virginia Manhattan Mall, you'll have 42 miles left. So plenty of room, um, don't get lost, but so far so good. It'll take about 50 minutes and we'll be good to go. Keep you guys updated. Looky, looky, we have Anna. Apply, apply light pressure. Is driving autopilot. Yeah. She's trusting the car. I like it a lot. She likes it a lot. seven hours in our trip we are on I-85 South and let's just say we just got to stop and go traffic this thing here is great that is a radar checker telling us that there's a police officer right around the corner and we're getting closer to our stop so our next supercharging stop is 123 miles away and uh, we'll be in South 
Southfield, Virginia. High pressure. Talk to you guys in a minute. Bye. Bye. Okay, so right now we are in Ashland, Virginia, and our beautiful assistant here is driving, doing lane assist cruise control by herself with full confidence. Um, so easy. You said it's, what's it again? So easy. Yeah, keep, keep your eyes on the road, Anna. Keep your eyes on the road. So, I gotta tell you, from when she started, she was kind of argumentative with me, uh, hesitant of using the feature at all. And right now, she's very, very comfortable, but you have to keep a vigilant eye and focus in when it tells you to focus. But she's doing a great job. And right now, our next supercharger destination is 97 miles away. And we have a nice, easy ride. And everything is copacetic. It's beautiful out here. So currently we are in South Hill, Virginia? I don't know. Yeah, VA, Virginia. So my wife is finding the joys of the electric life. It adds more time because you have to take into consideration the charging aspect. So if you're going on a thousand mile trip, 1087 mile trip, um, you have to add probably four hours of charging, but you need it. So it gives you a chance to uh, wind down, to use a bio break, and to eat or take a nap. Now we have to charge here for about 50 minutes, and then we'd be good for our next stop. So we are exactly right here. So far so good. Um, Everything has been going very, very smoothly. It's a great uh, car to go on a road trip with. Now, question. What do you think of the car? I like it. What do you like about it? It's comfortable. Comfortable? Yeah, so I can sleep. Okay. Easily. It just does take a lot of time to get to a destination, so you have to account for that. So you have to take into consideration your travel time when you're going. Uh, my wife's not usually this dark. It's just really dark where we are right now. I think you're borrowing my tan. Okay, so we're going to use the facilities. I'm going to use a little girl's room. But so far, so good. Okay, peace. We're doing peace. We gotta go. We do? We're not done with the trip. We'll see you later. Okay, that's my cue. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. so here are the superchargers in South Hill, Virginia. There's about one, two, three, four, five, six, six stalls out of the way. Um, there's mountains next to us. It's a nice place. They have a lodging right there, but Tesla has found a way to find good lodging. So that's pretty good. Pretty okay, good. so right now we are in Charlotte. Um, and we're having two little problems. One, we are losing efficiency because our tire, the right driver tire here, was low uh, to about 39 and everything else was 42. So I went to one air pump, it took our money and put the tire down to 33 PSI and now we're up to 42 again. And now we're trying to get to a supercharger because it says that we have to drive below uh, 59 or 60 miles per hour so that we can get to our destination. So we need to find some charging and oh, we're not going to make our destination. That's an update coming up. Okay. So our second destination, we were a little tight from our source. We had the DVA. So if you are going to deplete your battery and it says you're not going to make it change your destination and find a supercharger which is what my wife did 
and we are exactly here where you're getting this message. Now it's bad that we're doing this to the battery, yes, but this trip unfortunately calls for this. So now we get to supercharge. Is it your first time putting a supercharger? No. I've Are you done sure? It before, yes. Are you sure? I've done it before. Okay. And now we're gonna chill out. I am exhausted. We've been on the road how many hours? Way too long. No, exactly how many hours? 15 hours, 15 hours driving. It's that's a task. But we wanted to get to where we wanted to get to and it called for some sacrifices. But the autopilot feature in this car, I gotta tell you, it's second to none. Um, it did most of the heavy lifting for us and you get to relax a little bit and just chill. Um, look in my eyes, I am exhausted. And we're gonna charge for a little bit, I'm gonna take a nap. And then we're gonna go to our second destination or final destination and we should be good to go. So, catch you guys in the next one. Still going on. I'm gonna throw some links in the description to our referral link. So if you're looking for a Model 3 S or X and you'd like $100 off on supercharging, well, you'll see a link right over here. Look at this. Now the rule that I had was no eating in a car. Look at that, look at that right there. Look, you see Jolly Ranchers over there? Unbelievable. Really, really, really in a new car, Anna. Really? Catch you guys in a minute. Okay, so if you are having range anxiety to your destination, the first thing you do is deviate off your source and look for superchargers. Thank you very much, Elon. You saved our asses twice today by having superchargers everywhere. So if your main source or location that you're going for is too far and it says you're not gonna make it, change your destination, look for a supercharger, fuel up, 25 minutes, you should be good. Uh, over 200 miles and you'll be good to go. Catch you guys in a minute. Thank you very much Elon. Saved our ass twice today. <laughs>